Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, Sasha. All right, very cool. Ah, what should we do? I don't know, we're hoping for some rain, right? Exactly. Should we do some dancing? Can we stop traffic? Try? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, what should we try? Works, if any of my friends pressure. drive past. Who cares? <laughs> Come on. We want you on next season. One of the... No, no. Love it. No, that was good. Give us another number. Probably say that's a no, no. Shaving's just for the ladies. Just for the ladies. Just for the ladies. Are you watching the seasons ending with the stars? I'm in the seasons dancing with the stars. No, with who? Um, um, I'm one of the troop members. I'm the new troop member. No, 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 no. I got you. But, but as far as the, as far as like part, partnering up Celebrity, with someone. Celebrity, no. Yeah. Um, Nancy, I hope Nancy, Nancy's going pretty well. Um, uh -huh. Maybe she'll win, fingers crossed she'll win. Gotcha. JR's killing it actually, he's uh -huh. also got a really natural talent for dance. Um, who else is there? It's a shame Kim and David just left because I think they were really great in the competition. Really, really good. What about what about Chaz lasting as long as, uh, as, long as he did? I think it's a shame Chaz got out early because I reckon for the finale he would have pulled some crazy stuff out. Definitely some crazy stuff. Uh -huh. But I also think she, he was trying to like kind of change the world a little bit. Like, yeah, it's awesome. It up. It's like, awesome. That was the ballsiest thing ever. I mean, it's people no people are forgetting that world champions train and train for years and years, and what these guys do in a week, they have to learn one dance, learn the characterization of the dance, and then perform it in front of 20 million people, yeah. all in one week. And then as soon as one week's done, the next week starts and start all over again. So with these guys, just to get on the dance floor, it's amazing for these guys. All right, that makes sense. I saw so many injuries the first couple of weeks you know, yeah. training and then I'm not used to it. And like, yeah, it's go, just getting your body used to the, the movements and the music and some people never actually dance before they're on the show. So just to get the actual feeling of like having your knees bent at the right time and having your back bent, I mean there's there's always a doctor on site so yeah. what would be a good idea. What was your first dance routine ever and do you remember the outfit you wore? Oh god. It was at my bar mitzvah. <laughs> really? <laughs> and my grandma made this silver outfit, which was a total disaster. A total, total disaster. And I had to walk out and do this show for all my family and friends. And it was kind of, it was all silver with black satin pants. Ah, uh, it was just wrong. Wrong in all areas. And you fell in love with dance anyways after that? I would have thrown it into like a box. Yeah, I, I think I tried every sport there was, but from school, um, there was a dance school right across the street from my school, and I was like, where is where where are all these girls coming from? So I made my mum drag me over there, checked it out. I sucked, completely sucked, and then it gave me a chance to hold a girl's hand at the age of 13, which was awesome, I thought. Nice. The dance gets you laid. <laughs> the moral of the story. Hey, if I, if, I held a girl, if I held a girl's hand at 13, it'd have been all over. It would have been all over yeah. three seconds later. Yeah, right? yeah, no, That's seriously. why practice makes Change perfect. Change the underwear, as That's they say. That's why practice makes perfect, <laughs> and I chose to go there so early. So, by the age of 14, it was about a minute. Yeah, you're talking to a guy who didn't kiss his first girl until he was 18, so, <laughs> you know, uh, late, late bloomer, as they See, say. See, you, you should have, um, started dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, it, it, the, the, the guy-to-girl ratio? Was that was that what brought you into it? Oh yeah, bit? definitely, man. I was there was like four guys and maybe yeah. fifteen girls, which was. Was it like a new girl each week? 
kind of thing. Like when you're young, you yeah, it starts off. Like, you start off with different girls because you got to find the right person for the actual for yourself. So you get all different styles of dancing. Well, let me let me ask you this: What are the hopes for next year then? For what 2012. What are the what are the goals? For 2012. Goals. Well, I, I was a pro on the Australian Dance with the Stars. And uh -huh. I've I've been on Broadway. I've been on West End. I've done it all. And, after I did Dancing with Stars in Australia, I went to Broadway and I did the West End and I thought America would be awesome and a few of my friends are on it, Kim Johnson who, she, did, great, the, yeah. she did the season with me in Australia and I've known her for years and Tristan who, Tristan McManus who was a troupe member and turned professional so my dream, dream would be to get a celebrity really uh -huh. over here in the States. Who's your ideal celebrity? Ah, yeah, pick one out. Pick one out, Yeah, huh? right now, there you go. You know who'd be awesome? Um, she actually did a performance on the show with us. Uh, we danced to um, Kristen Chenisworth. Oh, Chenisworth. yeah, from Pushing That's Daisies. Yeah. Well, she you know, was awesome. Wicked, yeah, and, yeah. yeah and I, I actually looked, I stood next to her, I was like, oh, this would be perfect, perfect height. height. Perfect, yeah. she'd be awesome. Does she, gotta be, does she have to be shorter than you? Uh, same height. Same height or shorter? Yeah, same height or shorter.